Hello. Hi, Rochelle. Yes. Hey, this is Dave and Angie at US 92 here in Norfolk. How are you this morning? Good. Good. You're like, okay, why do they call me? I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm looking at the phone number going, I have no clue. You have no clue. I know. Well, surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Happy <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully uh, we'll start your Friday off here really well. But you know what? Um, your sister-in-law uh, sent us a wonderful letter we wanted to share with you here, if you have just a second. Sure. All right. It says, Dear Dave and Angie, every year I listen to the Christmas wishes being granted, and I just feel fortunate not to be in a position to need to ask for a wish to be granted for myself. But this year, however, I am writing to ask you that you consider granting a wish to my brother's family, Troy and Rochelle. Their son Christopher is 10-year-old fifth grader here in Norfolk. When Christopher was just five, he began having symptoms that suggested something wasn't quite right. And through Rochelle's uh, perseverance and research, tests confirmed that Christopher had diabetes insipidus, and an MRI showed a growth on his pituitary stem. While the symptoms were treated, and the uh, tumor, tumor, of course, was monitored, uh, but, um, of course, more needed to be done. Through a biopsy of the tumor, it was uh, diagnosed as a pure germinoma. Did I say that right? Yep, that is and correct. Surgical removal was not an option, so radiation was best option. Five days a week for six weeks straight in Omaha. Unbelievable. Yes. Well, Rochelle took an unpaid medical leave during that time so she and Christopher could begin the daily trips down 275 before the sun was up to undergo the radiation. Well, in October, Christopher ran the bell at uh, the hospital to signify the end of his treatments, and the waiting game began to see if the radiation worked. Well, while they might not share it, Christopher's sisters, Nicole, a sophomore in high school, and Melissa, an eighth grader, have, of course, had to make a lot of sacrifices during this time as well, as mom and dad were gone a lot to deal with uh, related issues for Christopher's uh, situation. And obviously, something like this takes a toll on the entire family. But through it all, those girls definitely remain positive and uh, such great helpers. While we pray they were successful in eradicating that tumor, the condition has left Christopher with some medical issues that require constant monitoring, medication, perhaps uh, for years to come. So my wish is for prayers and positive thoughts for Christopher. But I would also ask that perhaps you could do something a little bit for the family so they could spend some time together and kind of get some reunited time a little bit. All five of them, in fact, together, away from the stresses of work and medical issues, perhaps a week and away to escape and kick back and relax and just have a good time being a family together. Thank you so much for your consideration. And that comes from Lanai, of course. Yeah, I figured that too. <laughs> she's she's one that would do something like that, huh? Yes, uh, yeah. yes, she is. Well, you know, uh, anytime medical issues like this happen, it just it's so stressful, and it just it just tears you in so many directions. I mean, it's, it's I cannot imagine how stressful it was for you guys. Uh, yes, yes, it has been long. We've been separated a lot, and yeah, it has been hard. Well, how's our uh, how's our man doing? Um, he's doing pretty good. Um, we did our first MRI and. Things have shrunk, if not almost gone, but oh, we really? still have some things we have to keep an eye on. So, Well, that is great news. Great, yes. great news. Well, yes, I, I, I hope you don't mind that uh, that we do ask that uh, uh, everybody out there, they can just throw a, pris, uh, a prayer up for Christopher because I'll tell you what, uh, great things are happening, obviously. It's got a ways to go yet, and we'd like to get this out of there and, and uh, get him uh, back to where he can just be a normal boy again, you know, and just get back to action. Yes, I know he's ready for that. He's oh. tired of being poked. <laughs> I cannot imagine. You know, being, being a young guy like that, you know, you got so many other things that young boys typically like to do, but he's had to kind of re-gear his entire life to medical visits and things. So Yes, uh, he has. Man. Hasn't been fair. It, no, then absolutely not. Yeah, he's been a trooper. Well, he's an amazing young man. And i, I got to tell you, the Quality Department of Faith Regional Health Services, along with the Norfolk Board of Realtors, want to give you all a weekend as a family away oh, wow that's we got awesome the, yeah i mean come on you got to go have some fun here a little bit so we got gift certificates for two nights stay in a two-room suite of your choice at the uh, sioux falls ramada plaza with the buccaneer buccaneer bay indoor water park it's a blast oh, wow. a really cool, cool thing every oh they'll have a blast with that plus we got a gas card for fuel and food for the weekend uh, as well and uh, so we just want you guys to go have fun at your leisure when it works for your convenience you can book it anytime you want but um, you know what family time is obviously the most important time and having the opportunity to get back together after all this uh, and spend one of those fun weekends together i think would be great Yes, that would be awesome. Appreciate that. Well, just know people are thinking about you guys, and uh, and it seems like, you know, uh, all those lonely miles going up and down 275, you're kind of riding alone, but uh, there's a lot of folks there thinking about you now, and certainly praying for Christopher as well. 
Yes, thank you very much. Well, we thank you for allowing us to spend a little time with you here this morning and uh, and chat with you. And we just want you to know that uh, you are in thoughts and prayers, and, and we hope that you all have just a great time together uh, up there at uh, that great place in, uh, in Sioux Falls and enjoy some time uh, kind of getting to just be a normal family again, you know? Yes. So ready. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And we just hope you have a great Christmas this year and uh, continue to get positive news and results uh, from Christopher's tests. And, and hopefully 2013 is a much less stressful year. Yes, we're praying for that, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Merry Christmas to you and the entire family, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.